How's it going guys? This is God Cannon back once again and today I just wanted to share with you my top 10 most anticipated games shown off at E3 2018. Now these are going to be just uh, the PSVR related stuff, although I will say they were uh, pretty impressive with some of the presentations and got me a little bit interested in the others. But at the end of the day, this is where my heart is and this is all I really have the most interest in, so I'm just going to stick with those. So uh, before I do the top 10 list, I do want to throw out two honorable mentions. Um, these are not going to be included as part of that list. However, I am still excited, even though, you know, I'm excited for everything they showed. I don't think there was one that they showed off that I wasn't excited for. However, these are just two that I des think deserve a mention. So the first one is going to be Transference. Um, it was by Elijah Wood's studio, uh, Spectre Vision. And they showed it off at during the uh, Ubisoft conference, and it just looks like a complete mindfuck and a really cool story-driven kind of game. Um, really got my curiosity with that one. I, you know, I don't really know what to expect with it. Um, however, if it seems like it has a lot of potential, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. The second one, um, this might be a little bit surprising, but the second one of the honorable mentions is going to be Dreams by Media Molecule. Media Molecule. Um, I know that probably is on somebody's top 10 list. If not, I mean, I could even see it being number one, and I completely understand. Um, at the end of the day, you know, this you got to remember this is just my opinion, and everybody's going to have a different opinion, and that's what makes everything so great. But that being said, um, you know, the, the reason it's on the honorable mention and not the actual list is because they didn't really show off any uh, PSVR related gameplay with it you know if it's just the game ported into it you know that's pretty cool um <clears throat> but with all that aside if this game if dreams turns out to be what it has the potential to be it could end up being like one of the best psvr games of all time um just because the endless potential but until i see it you know i don't really know so right now it's just going to stick to my honorable mentions so with those two out of the way, um, it's time to go ahead and get started with the top 10 most anticipated PSVR games of 2018 E3. So coming in at number 10, um, this was the fifth day reveal from the countdown to E3, and that's going to be Beat Saber. Now, basically, you know, um, I've heard a lot of great things about this game. It's all the rave on PC right now. I also checked out AWOL Soldiers video on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't yet, definitely go check it out. Um, I am a musician, and even though I just do it for kind of just fun nowadays, um, I still have a big passion for it and enjoy it. And so that's basically my, mu my connection with music is what has me most excited for it, um, just to rock out and, you know, hit stuff and, um, you know, just a new take on it. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, next up... Trover Saves the Universe. Uh, that's going to be by Squanch Games. And the reason it is at number nine um, is because basically I am a uh, fan of Justin Roiland. I was originally just a fan of Dan Harmon. And then when I heard that, you know, once Community ended, um, there was a new show coming out that involved Dan Harmon and it involved Justin Roiland. And so that's how I found out who he was. And I uh, played Accounting Plus, and I absolutely loved it. Um, it's actually, I actually enjoyed it more than the Rick and Morty game, believe it or not. It was just, it had me cracking up the whole time. It was a little bit of a short experience, but it was appropriately priced. And uh, it was just, it genuinely made me crack up. So I uh, really enjoyed that one. And this one, of course, looks really it's like a platformer, and then it looks really colorful, um, and it could be a lot of fun. If you mix platforming and then make it really funny, uh, I just don't see how that could go wrong. Plus, uh, I got a lot of respect for Justin Roiland and what he does for the PSVR community. He's a big advocate for virtual reality experiences, and uh, I really like him for that as well. And, uh, you know, I totally want to support that guy any way I can, even though, you know, at the end of the day, I just like his games and his shows and his comedy. Um, so for number eight, um, we are going to have Vacation Simulator, uh, that, that is developed by Alchemy Labs, the same people that did Job Simulator, and the reason I'm excited for that one is it just seems like something to just mess around with, and 
like a very non-stressful, just relaxation kind of game where you just get to mess around. Um, I didn't actually play Job Simulator, but this one seems much more my speed with the just beach areas and everything. Um, you know, it's going to be more about just immersing myself in that environment and hanging out and having some fun. And I just love, I've always loved being at the beach and around water in video games. Um, it's just something that's always relaxed me. So that's uh, basically why I'm looking forward to that one. Coming in at number seven, we've got Firewall Zero Hour. Um, this is developed by First Contact Studios. And <clears throat> the reason uh, it's piquing my interest is because not only does it offer lots of multiplayer with uh, strategic based combat, um, a lot of people are comparing it to Rainbow Six Siege, and you know I haven't played that game. However, it does look remind remind me a lot of uh, Counter Strike, and I was a big fan of that. And as you know, I'm uh, so in general I'm a fan of tactical shooters, um, and again the multiplayer aspect has me really excited. Um, at number six we have Tetris Effect. And this was announced on the first day of the countdown to E3 and um, really piqued my interest once they said that it is going to be developed by Enhanced Games and Tetsuya Mizusuke. Um, you know, as a big fan of Res Infinite, this game completely jumped up my list in terms of top 10 most anticipated. Hi. And, um, you know, the game, like I said in my previous video, the game is going to offer amazing visuals and amazing music. And then, of course, you've got the alternative uh, modes for the gameplay that will mix it up and should uh, create some great time. So really looking forward to that one. Uh, coming in at number five, we are going to have Space Pirate Trainer. And this game was announced... Uh, right actually after E3 uh, had pretty much concluded, um, which I really think it could have, you know, along with a couple other games, should have uh, been featured either before or during. Um, but, you know, they chose to present it the way they did, and that's what they stuck with, and, you know, they can't change that. But um, this game looks like a lot of fun. It's like another bullet hell kind of shooter, and it's got a lot of style to it. It looks like it's got a lot of music, and uh, that's lovely. And, you know, the, I've heard lots of great things from the PC players that already have the game. Um, a lot of people say it's really great. And it just, like I said, it looks like it's got a lot of style and substance. And I'm really excited for that. And it's made by uh, Eye Illusions. At number four, we're going to have another one that may come as a little bit of a surprise. And that's going to be Mind Labyrinth VR. Uh, Mind Labyrinth was developed by... Frost Earth Studios and is basically an exploration game and I'm really excited for it because exploration is one of my favorite genres uh, within or without um, VR and it's also going to feature a soundtrack by some big names that have worked on several Hollywood titles and actually won a couple Oscars and between the music and the exploration, and if you get a glimpse at the gameplay and everything, it looks like there's some really pretty environments to explore through. Um, that's basically why uh, I'm excited for it. There's going to be, you know, even though I'm kind of a hardcore gamer that likes Twitch gameplay and, you know, a nice challenge, um, I still like to mix it up with something relaxing every now and then to kind of balance it out and not always just put a lot of stress on myself. I, I enjoy just hanging out and relaxing too so really excited for that one um, coming in at number three we're going to have evasion VR and evasion was another one of these games that was announced during the countdown to e3 and the biggest two reasons I would say that I'm excited for it is it's gonna have multiplayer uh, with co-op where you play along with another player and take on a bunch of robots and stuff and the other thing is, it's going to have a class system that seems really cool and something different than what you've seen before. Um, where you can basically choose as like a healer, an assault class, um, something that's not typically in a bullet hell shooter. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to pan out and work and, you know, just uh, get with some of my friends and destroy a bunch of robot wasps and... 
I, in particular, really got excited when I saw that power slam move where they hook them with like what looks like the stream from a proton pack and smash them into the ground. I'm really looking forward to using that move. Whatever class that is, I will probably just choose that one. Um, uh, next up at number two, we have another game that was shown off pretty much post E3. Actually, this was shown off literally after E3, the day after. I don't know why, because it actually seemed like something that would have been really nice to feature. Um, but that's going to be Ace Combat 7 by Bandai Namco. And, you know, this one, a lot of people are excited for. It's supposed to feature both uh, flat screen capable and VR support. And if it uses the HOTUS, there's a good chance I'm going to have to go out and buy one just to be able to play with it. But I think it'll be totally worth it. But, you know, that's one that I think is up on high up on everybody's radar. And they're looking forward to. And finally, my number one most anticipated game shown off at E3 2018 is going to be Astro Robot Rescue. There's a couple reasons uh, why that's my most anticipated. A few being, number one, I'm a huge fan of platformers. Moss was actually my most anticipated game last year, and when it came out, I absolutely fell in love with it, with not just the story, but the characters and everything. Um, but this game, Astro Robot Rescue uh, by Japan Studio, also seems like the next fully fleshed out, sort of close to AAA title that we're going to get. It looks very polished. It looks like it offers a lot of variety of environments. There's going to be 26 different levels to play through. And I love the art style. I love the seeing the beaches, the dolphins flying around. It just looks like another really great game that's going to be coming out. And they said, I think, later this year. So I'm really excited about that. And not only that, but the gameplay where you have the controller that you can interact with the environment. Um, they saw they showed off like some shooting stars and you're shooting them at the wall and then the little characters jumping onto them and helping them across and you know just platformers in general like I said they just speak to me uh, it's one of the first games that I started off uh, when I started gaming originally it was platformers side scrollers of course that were like 8-bit but they were platformers nonetheless and, uh, you know, like I said, I've always been a sucker for Crash Bandicoot and Sir Daniel Fortescue. And I'm just really looking forward to this uh, newest edition of Astro becoming another one of these PlayStation mascots. I think we uh, really could use as many as we could get. And, you know, this is another one that I thought they really could have shown off on the main stage and gotten people really excited. But at the end of the day, I'm just excited that we're getting it and that we, we're going to have it and be able to play it. Um, so it doesn't really matter how it was presented. Uh, I'm just happy to have it at the end of the day. Um, but that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I um, want to give a quick shout out to some of these other games that were shown off, uh, including Deracine, which is by From Software, um, which, you know, of course, they have the reputation of Bloodborne, another one of my favorite games. And then um, Ghost Giant by Zoink Games, which looks great. Creed by Servius, which looks like a fantastic boxing game. Uh, Arca's Path, Blood and Truth. And, of course, you know, this wasn't shown off at E3, except for in the booths. They were allowing people to play it, and that is The Persistence, um, which is actually the game we're probably getting the most soon out of all these I mentioned. Uh, it comes out, should come out early, uh, middle of next month, and I'm super excited to play that one. But uh, once again, guys, I really appreciate you checking out this video. I really hope you liked it, too. And definitely tell me uh, if you have your top 10 most anticipated that were shown off at E3. Tell me what you're most excited for. Or, heck, just tell me what you're excited for in general. I don't really care. If it's uh, PSVR, if it's, uh, you know, something that was shown, if it's flat screen, just let me know. You know, there's a lot of... One thing I love about E3 is it's a great time to celebrate games and what's coming and you know, uh, really excited in general. So, you know, feel free to let me know and, uh, definitely st stay tuned. Uh, going to have some more videos coming pretty soon and another couple lists, including like my top 10, maybe top 20 favorites that I already own and have played. 
And, uh, of course, going to continue my walkthroughs. Um, those did get delayed a little bit because I was sick a little bit lately. But I'm feeling great, uh, feeling better than ever, so ready to get back to those. So appreciate your patience during this time. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, you guys have a great rest of the day. I do hope that they go back to their original format of just showing off games, 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 because that's what really all we care about. At the end of the day, we just want to see the games. You know, um, I will say I do think they could have extended the time with the flute guy and the banjo guy a little bit as well. Um, you know, I was disappointed that they didn't play longer. But um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fuck, I fucked this up. Oh, uh, shit.